Hey guys, welcome back. This week, I'm recreating this Instagram counter. Let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new comp. From here, we can start building the shape using the rounded square tool and the pen tool to create the triangle. At the top, select the shape tool. Alongside that, you'll be able to select the color for the fill and the outside line. I'm going to make sure the outside line is set to zero pixel. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to import a heart PNG I've already created to place into the counter. Pro tip here, PNG files allow you to have a transparent background. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is add a text, which starts with one. In the paragraph window, you can change the size, font, color, everything. If you can't find this, go to Windows and tick on Paragraph. Actually, I'm going to change the 1 to 0 and resize this to make it look better. In the same layer, in Content, Rectangle 1, Rectangle Path 1, I'm going to change the roundness to let it match better. From here, I'm going to go to the effects panel and type slider control and drag and drop this into the text layer. Open the text layer, then text and alt click on the source text stopwatch. This will allow you to put some coding in, but we're going to use this wiggle parent line. Before we do this, open the slider control to reveal the slider stopwatch and then drag and drop the wiggle tool onto the stopwatch. This will automatically put coding in when the slider will let you increase the number over time. To animate this, we'll just need to keyframe it. Okay, it's getting the numbers to increase, but we have a few issues. The text is moving out on both sides, whereas we just want the text to move to the right hand side of the screen. To fix this, I'm going to change the anchor point using the drop down transform tab and reposition this. From here, I'm going to go back to the paragraph window and change the alignment to start from the left hand side of the screen. The next thing to fix is the scale of the rectangle to follow the numbers. First, open the transport tab and unlock the scale uniform box here and keyframe the scale on the width in time with the text increasing. Once you're happy with the keyframes, highlight them all, right click and select toggle hold frames to give a smoother change when the numbers increase. Last thing we need to do is get rid of those decimal points. Stick with me guys, cause this needs to be exact. Open the source text where the coding was automatically placed in. At the end of this, type value two, so T-O, fix, open bracket, zero, close bracket. Make sure that the F is capital. So again, that's V-A-L-U-E-T-O, capital F, I-X, E-D, bracket, zero, bracket. Then click out of the box and it should be fixed. I've put the coding in the description below as well, just in case. And that's it, you're done. Keep an eye out in the communication boards as I'll be making a tutorial on what you guys vote for. As always, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for everything and I'll see you next week.